Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, I've praised Tim Seeley in the past. Uh, I like uh, Money Shot. I think that's a, a good little comic. I think sometimes it's um, you have to get the the people onto the comic where it's gonna it's gonna line up. And I, it, one of the confusing parts to me, and it, it continues to be something I struggle with, is this concept that I think it was Tom Brevoort uh, or maybe it was C.B. Sibulski. Uh, it was one of the two of them, or both, uh, said that you you know you you don't put writers on titles they really want because they'll have blind spots to the characters. You won't get true stories because, you know, don't, don't put, don't let, like if Donny Cates is a huge fan of Thor, whatever you do, don't give Donny Cates Thor because that would be insane. Uh, you might wind up with a Thor run that people like if you do that. Like, uh, you know, Donny Cates says he likes Venom. Whatever you do, don't give Donny Cates Venom because, uh, you know, that title may wind up being a top selling title and, and have an event that sells over a hundred thousand issues. And you wouldn't want that. So keep, keep, keep writers off books that they like. And, and anyway, um, <laughs> I, I'm simplifying a little bit, uh, but uh, that, that comment has always stuck with me. At any rate, uh, I think that Tim Seeley on Money Shot is, is doing a good thing. He, he, he tweets, um, you know, not all tweets are, are destructive. He says, uh, you know, I think the pandemic, I, I don't really think the pandemic had anything to do with it, but I think the pandemic cemented something for him, he says that uh, the money in comics is not in video games or in movies or, you know, if they're in TV, uh, the, the, the good money in comics is in good comics. Um, well, yeah, I, <laughs> I think, I think that, you know, I, this happens in lots of different fields. It happens in the tech uh, community quite a bit where a startup will say, all we need to do is be the next Instagram. That's all we need to do. No, no big deal. Instagram made uh, you know billion dollars. That was great. All we need to do is just be the next Instagram. No problem. We'll just uh, we'll be Instagram and everything will be great. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot for being Instagram. Sounds wonderful as a as a slogan, but you know that's not a business plan. A business plan requires for there to be you know some actual. Uh, you know, strategies around how you get there, mitigation paths, like what if you're not the next Instagram, but, you know, you can still find a niche for yourself where, you know, the company can make $100 million in revenue and, and that's a good thing. You know, what about that? That wouldn't be bad. Uh, I, I think that in comics, there became this idea of like, oh, wait a minute. And, and I, it, the guy to blame is Mark Miller, <laughs> Mark Millar. He is, he is the, he's the responsible one uh, because he sold uh, Millar World, Miller World, um, until we have him on for the interview, which hopefully is coming soon. Knock on wood, coming soon. Um, I, I wanted, like, I've now seen several interviews and people say, so, Mr. Mark Miller, or so, Mr. Mark Millar. Uh, you know, and he just smiles and just goes with it. And what's the right answer? Only he knows. Um, I, there is a right answer in there. What's funny is I asked this question before in a video, and like, uh, if you look in the comments, lots of people are like correcting me, like, oh, it's this one. And there's, it's, it's split again, like 10 people on each side. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Anyway, um, he sells Malar World and to Netflix, and he makes a lot of money. And it's great. And uh, those movies, uh, in theory, coming out, Jupiter's Legacy trailer look great. Can't wait to see that. And it's uh, people are like, oh, well, clearly... To be a you know a multimillionaire, to make lots of money in comics, then all I need to do is get into TV. All I need to do is sell a video game. All I need to do is get that Pokemon Go money, and I am set. So I'll write a comic, and then they'll make a video game out of it, and then everything will be great. And it's kind of like a step. It's like step one, step two, step three. What people are forgetting is step two, which Tim Seeley references, which is uh, you need to you need to make a good comic. If you don't make a good comic that sells really well and people love, not just your circle of friends, not just the you know random people that you've attracted on Twitter, uh, if if people like your comic, lots of people, and it does well, then you get to advance to step three. But you don't get to go from step one to step three. Every now and then, somebody, some some Hollywood production will option a comic book that didn't do very well because the rights were good. There was a friend somewhere inside the, I don't know, for whatever crazy reason, a comic that is lesser known gets a deal. Uh, however, the, it does not last. Those com those, those shows get canceled. There's not a lot of money in them. They, some many times they're optioned, but they never actually make it on air. 
lots of things happen. The tried and true method to get the super riches off of video games, and less video games and more, you know, TV, movies. The way to get the real money is you got to have a good comic. You can't go from step one, make a comic, any a comic, to step three, get rich off Hollywood deals. You have to, you have to achieve step two. That comic needs to be good and people need to like it. Walking Dead did great. Robert Kirkman, he's another one, like Mark Miller Millar. He also made a lot of money off all this stuff. Good for him. That's great. What do we know about uh, Kirkman? Invincible was damn good. And Walking Dead was also good. Both of these comics were great comics that people liked, that gained an audience over time, that got very, very popular, that did well. He made a good comic, comics, and magic. It's like, uh, what is that, Kelly Sue comic? Magic. He makes money off Hollywood. That's how it works, folks. It's not like you, you, you don't just get a bypass. And, and by the way, if you go on Twitter and you see people get super excited, like, oh my God, this indie comic that is selling 3,000 copies got optioned and it's going to be, I'm, I'm flying off to Hollywood to meet with a very important set of uh, you know, people to do some casting, blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, you know, number one, that project's in the option phase, meaning it may or may not happen. Odds are it won't. And two, it's like, have you ever seen, there's these videos that people have done as parodies of uh, kind of the Instagram or the social media effect where you, you know, you basically take a photo of yourself looking like you're doing amazing things. One of them, um, there's a hotel in Las Vegas called the Venetian. And inside the Venetian, there's this replica of Venice. Uh, is, you know, but it, but it's clearly, it's like a, it's like Disneyland. It's a Vegas representation. Same thing, by the way, of, of Disney world and Disney world in a play in Epcot, there is a world showcase where they've got different places of the world. And it's very common. People will do a selfie in front of like something that looks like the Eiffel tower. And they're like, Oh, I'm living my best life. And they don't say I'm in Paris, but they're like, wink, living my best life wink, look where I am. And it's like, you're in, you're, you're in Orlando. That's where you are. You're in Vegas. This happens all the time it, to the point where if you go to the Venetian and you go into the canals, that area uh, the, of, of the hotel, there will be, there's little places where you can take photos that they've, they've kind of removed the trim and they blurred it around to make it really look like you're in Italy. And that's the entire point. You're supposed to do that to trick your friends that you're, you're in Italy. But that, that's what this whole thing is like. You, you can't bypass quality uh, in, in getting rich. Qual you, you have to, there, has to be, there, there has to be the, a good comic. If you don't have a good comic, if you want to get rich in comics, yes, you are correct. You, you don't, step one, write the comic, make the comic. Step two, it's got to be good. There's good money in comics or good comics. The movies, all that kind of stuff, that can come later, but you don't get to step three without step two. That's just part of the game. You got to figure out. Um, it's, it's, I think that 2021, 2022 is the year that that kind of dawns on more people. They're like, oh, wait a minute. A lot of people bluffing about amazing riches and projects and all kinds of things on, uh, you know, on, on Facebook. And, um, you know, they're still living in an apartment with like five other people and uh, have a GoFundMe to pay for basic dental care. What's going on here? I thought they were, I thought these were billionaires by now. Hmm. No, you're, you're going to actually have to make that good comic. You know, make the good comic, get the riches. You know, step one. It's like uh, they're, they're the South Park cartoon with the underwear gnomes. It's like, uh, you know, step one, collect underwear. Step two, mystery. Step three, get rich. This is a bit, I think this is how a lot of people have been operating. It's like step one, Make a comic that may be a crazy, unmarketable, terrible idea. Step two, eh, step three, Hollywood gives you millions of dollars. That's, 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 uh, that path is fictional. It won't happen. It's not going to happen. And you need to have good comics. So eh, good for Tim Seeley for recognizing that and pulling that out there. It's true. It's, uh, it's absolutely true. So now uh, just cool. Now go tell 50 of your friends, Tim, and uh, we'll get this thing fixed. Everybody will... Everybody will come around and it will be healthier. Hey, let me know your thoughts, your questions below, uh, your get rich schemes. Maybe you've got some other steps in there that make it all work. Uh, let me know in the comments below, like, and subscribe. And thanks for listening.